growth from us in that space. The third area is the area of mobile. And quite frankly, <clears throat> that's the one that I'm most excited about here today. And you see over here, my big green friend. That is, and that's not our CFO, Maury. <laughs> that is Andy the Android, uh, who has got a MIPS badge on board. And Android, for those who don't know, is an operating and operating system and middleware environment that is being developed and being proliferated by Google. Now, interesting. Why is Google involved in operating systems and middleware? And what sort of impact will that have to the, will that have on the marketplace? Well, particularly in mobile, for probably since the beginning of time in mobile, mobile has been dominated by ARM as the processor and an operating system called Symbian, which sat on top of it, which was really originally, cre uh, originally adopted by Nokia, who became the number one cell phone provider. Right? Well, Symbian was not moved off of ARM, so ARM literally had a virtual monopoly in the, in the mobile space. All of that changed by, again, another Stanford company by the name of Google, who decided to take the power of, the li of Linux, standardize it, develop a middleware environment on top of it, and then have it so that all of the different stacks could be developed on Android rather than being developed on the processor themselves. What does that mean? What that means is the biggest barrier to entry for MIPS getting into mobile just got eliminated. Because now all you need to do is migrate Android onto MIPS, which we have already done, and then all of the software that goes on top of it automatically migrates over. This literally changes everything. And since I took over with MIPS near the end of January, I can tell you that I've spent a great deal of time going out and visiting customers. Some people have written about the fact that in a 35-day period, I had 23 different flights, all to go visit our customers. Because I wanted to make sure that I understood from them what they were looking for and what their challenges were before I got indoctrinated into the, into the uh, thinking within the four walls of a company. What I saw during that time is a mass adoption of Android. A, an adoption that in my 20 years in the high-tech industry I've never seen before. And why? Well, it harnesses the power of Linux, number one. Number two, it's being developed and launched out by Google, a very reputable company. And number three, it's free. <laughs> Which, by the way, the customers liked a lot. <laughs> We have already had over 3,300 downloads uh, from our website of Android on MIPS. We have already announced uh, mobile chip vendors that are developing mobile chips for handsets on the MIPS architecture. Uh, some of the ones we have announced, that the, the companies that will allow us to announce their names, others we haven't. But all I can say is stay tuned because I think there's a big wave coming in this area. and. As I said before, nobody likes a monopoly. Uh, this even became a bigger issue last Friday. And many of you may have noticed there was a very big rumor that was going around. I think it was on the front page of EE Times online. Uh, it was also written about by all the different analysts and had the street buzzing. And the rumor was that Apple may buy ARM. Oh, yeah. Okay. Interesting, right? And the reason that they would buy them is not necessarily to have access to their technology, but to prevent others from having access to their technology. Now, I don't know if the rumor's true or not. All I know is that there are many companies doing what-if scenarios. What if that happens? What if they're caught flat-footed? Why shouldn't they have an option? Well, the most rational option for them is MIPS. And I ask you to stay tuned about what we have to say within this space, because it's an opportunity that comes around once in a generation, and we are going to go and take full advantage of that as much as we can. So that really concludes a bit of a reintroduction of MIPS. 
a clear-cut introduction of what the strategy we have going forward. And with that, I welcome you all to Global Press, to the beautiful Bay Area, and to the start of what I hope will be a very informative few days for all of you. Thank you.